All right, just a quick video for you here, guys. Just got 2019.32.1, and I'm starting out here. I want you to see that I have the arrow wheels and that my car is super dirty. Um, but in this update, you can now change your wheel configuration. And this is really good for me because my car, if you've ever seen here, uh, has the wrong wheels on it. It has the 19-inch wheels. Um, and I have the 18s, like I just showed you. So if you go into uh, service here, you can see there's a new option, wheel configuration. And from here, you can choose all the different wheels. So 18s, I was on 19s, or the performance. So I'm going to switch it to 18s, and now it's going to be the correct wheel for my car. You hit confirm, and then the computer does reset um, after that. I think maybe you have to start driving or something. Um, so put my foot on the brake. And let's put it in reverse. Yeah, so there, the computer's resetting. The computer reset, and then when you drive for just a minute, you should get a pop-up message. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I'll get it with the camera up. So after you drive, I'm not driving, but after you drive for a minute, uh, it'll say that TPMS have been reset and then your numbers will fill in here. Uh, and then if you look here, boom, I got the right wheels on. Before this update, you actually had to have mobile service come out and change this little graphic, which is just ridiculous. Um, I got my tires changed. When I switched from the 19s to the 18s, uh, there's a video about that. You should check that one out. Uh, the guy couldn't connect to the server, so he couldn't change the graphic. And then he told me he'd have to come back out. And I was like, forget it. It's not worth it. So it's nice that now it's just an option in your menu. And if you like some different tires, you can pick whatever you want. One last thing I want to look at here. It says when you change your tire type, it also affects the range calculation. So I'm on the 18s right now, and I've actually noticed, you know, it, uh, like I showed, I had the 19s on here, even though my car actually has the 18s. Everywhere I'd go, I'd always have more range uh, than it said I would when I got there. So let's see how this works. So right here, if we navigate, we're going to go to the St. Joseph, Michigan Supercharger. It is 148 miles away. So let's navigate there, and it says we're going to arrive with 6%. It knows I have the 18 inch wheels. Let's change tires and see what it says then. Okay, so we switched over to the 19 inch tires. The computer has reset. And if we go look at our directions, now it says we're gonna only arrive with 5%. So that's pretty cool. It knows that uh, we'll have less energy because the bigger tires are less efficient. Let's change to the 20 inch tires and then we can see what it says when we do that. 20 inch tires also say 5%. Just like with the 19 inch, we have this message, but on the 19 inch, it said stay below 75 to reach your destination. Now it says stay below 70. So a technique you could use here, if you're really worried about uh, your range and making it to your destination with enough energy, you could just switch. Let's say you're using the 18 inch tires, just tell it you're using the 19 and then it's always going to be way more conservative whenever it's uh, planning your routes. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.